Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited. This is a really cool conversation. We're talking about manifestation today, but I'm very excited to announce I have a sponsor of my podcast now. I'm clearly moving up in the world and I've got myself a little sponsor. So Shine Energy Drinks, it is amazing. I drink this shit all day long. It is amazing. Better than any energy drink I've ever had. Just the health components, the consistent energy, like it's 4.40 p.m. and I'm still buzzing. I'm having a great day, but really, really good. If you're looking to try them out, guys, go check them out. They are amazing. And I actually jumped on their podcast not too long ago. Um, That will be released very soon. But thank you to Shine for sponsoring this podcast. Guys, we're talking about manifestation today. So the truth to manifestation. A lot of people are quite delusional when it comes to this topic. So I'm gonna lay down some brutal facts for you guys today and give you guys both sides to the same coin, okay? So we're gonna get really deep and real honest today on manifestation. Before we kick off, if I can ask you a massive favor to like the video. <laughs> like the video, it helps tremendously with the algorithm. If you wanna drop a comment below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Send this to a friend who, if you get value to this by the end, you can share it at the end. Uh, if you get value from this, put it on your Instagram story, give me a tag. I love seeing what you guys get out of this podcast. Without further ado, let's rip into it. So. Manifestation, what is manifestation? It's essentially to me anyways, this is my version of it. It's getting, it's creating things in your mind before it becomes manifest and creating it in reality. It's having a vision and then materializing that vision. So you see, you wanna have a beautiful car, then you have the car. You want a beautiful, you wanna have a beautiful relationship, you attract and manifest a beautiful relationship. That's my view on it anyways. So I just wanna go through because I think some people are kind of one side or the other when it comes to this topic. So I just want to really share my balanced view and how I see things anyways. So first and foremost, there's two steps to manifestation. One step, one part of it, I'm going to go down deep on both of these, uh, both sides of this coin. First is the energetics. So there's the energetics of manifestation. And that's what I think most people kind of think of when you hear the word manifestation, it's frequency, it's energy, it's vibrating at a certain level to attract the things into your life. That's true, but don't be unbalanced with that. And the second part is strategic. What do you, what are you doing to actually create the thing that you want to create? And it's, it's two sides of the same coin. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Let's start with step one, the energetics. Everything in life is energy from the camera I'm filming this on to this microphone that I'm talking into, to the amount of money that's in your bank account right now, to the car that you drive, to the relationship that to, that you have, to the energy and the emotions that you experience and feel, everything is just atoms, electrons, protons vibrating at a certain frequency. Water is more liquid, it's, more, it's, it's less dense, where like this table, if you can hear that through the microphone, it, it's vibrating at a higher frequency. So it's 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 more solid. Uh, sorry, at a slower frequency. So it's more solid. So everything is at a, a certain frequency. Now, this is the part which I agree with the whole, I guess, manifestation consciousness movement is that you do need to become the frequency or the vibration of the very thing that you want because you do not get in life what you want. You get in life who you are, and what vibration you become. So let's use an example. Most people live in a sort of cause and effect life. Like they think, once I achieve this, once I make money, I will be happy. However, that's not how manifestation, that's not how reality fucking works. You can technically do that. It's just very stressful. It's very exhausting. And it's not a very good time. The flip side is causing an effect is becoming happy and becoming the person who's worthy of that amount of money, being that person now, then you attract it. And if you just get that little sort of flip just there, it's quite subtle, but it's very beautiful and very empowering. And yeah, it's very profound when it really sinks in, is that what it is that you want, think about it right now, for you listening to this podcast or watching this podcast, Think about the thing you desire the most. It might be financial freedom, might be a beautiful relationship, might be a beautiful body, it might be traveling the world, it might be a beautiful car, whatever it may be. Picture it, really get that in your mind right now. Close your eyes if you need to. Picture the thing that you want the most. And I want to ask yourself this question. Who would you be or who will you be once you have that thing? Let's just use money for this example. Say it's a million bucks. 
How will you feel when you have a million dollars in your bank account? What feelings will you feel? Will it be love, gratitude, abundance, achievement, pride, whatever it may be? If you feel that emotion, which is a frequency, which is just vibrating, you're vibrating at a certain frequency. If you be that person now, then you start to actually attract it. And that's what I think most people sort of view when they view manifestation. That's kind of the cliche one. If you've watched the movie, The Secret, or if you've read the book, The Secret, a lot of it comes from that. And there's a lot of truth to that. However, a lot of people don't balance the other side and they're just kind of like levit- trying to levitate off the ground and fucking manifest a Ferrari in their driveway without fucking doing anything. No, that's not how it works. You need to take action. You need to have goals. You need to break them down. You need to make sacrifice. You need to work hard. There's that side of it too, which I'll get to soon. So the question is, how do you change your energy? How do you become the frequency of the things that you want? So I've got a couple of uh, steps for you guys. So a couple of steps in each, each, each sort of column of today. So energetics and strategy. So first things first, I love the analogy of the statue of David. I use it all the time. And if you're familiar with the podcast, you probably heard it a thousand times, but Michelangelo sculpted the statue of David. And someone asked him, how did you make such a beautiful piece of art? And his answer was beautiful. He said, David was always there in the statue. I just had to remove everything that wasn't him. Now, listen to this line as well. Your light shines brightest when you let it shine freely. So when it comes to increasing your vibration, a lot of it is removing the things that are dimming your light or that are hiding and shielding the most authentic, fullest expressed version of you. What does that look like? That looks like healing trauma, doing inner work, doing fucking spiritual journeys, spiritual healing, energetic healing, doing plant medicine, getting therapy, getting a healer, getting a coach, just working on you, rewiring limiting beliefs. I've got a couple of steps here. So it's just inner work. Let's just put it there in that category, doing inner work. That's going to increase your vibration significantly, right? We've all met people, and this is no judgment towards these types of people, people that haven't worked on themselves. They're very triggered. They're a bit of a victim mentality. They kind of blame the world. They get triggered all the time. They just haven't done the work. And that's cool. I used to be that person. That used to be me. And they vibrate at a certain frequency, right? They kind of, they're like energy vampires, right? And again, I used to be that person. I know, I know firsthand. And then you've met people who are just like fucking on another level. They just radiating abundance and like love and they just like you just they just magnetize people and things into their life and you just love being around them what's the difference well highly likely chance is that person who's vibrating at a better frequency at a higher frequency has done some a lot of work on themselves they've let go of the past they're not holding on to the past they've healed their shit a lot of their shit anyways but my steps step by step of how to increase your frequency and how to vibrate higher. Number one, live in alignment with your values. So if you're new to my podcast, go to episode 200 of my podcast. It's a free training. It's actually a paid, clients pay me money to actually do this training with them. And I've done it for free for you guys. Okay. So just to help you guys out. So it's free. There's no opt-in. You don't have to put any details in. It's literally public and free. There's a document there to download as well. It's all free. Go do it. It's fucking awesome. You're going to determine your values and live to them. That's going to move the needle the most. There's a quote that I use a lot with my work. When, oh, sorry, I'll say it again. Low self-worth is feedback that you're not living in alignment with your values. So if you're vibrating, you're feeling shit, which is, let's call it a low vibrational state, you're just not living in alignment with your values. You're not being yourself. You're not being authentically yourself. You're not expressing the authentic version of you, okay? So first step, live in alignment with your values. That's going to move the needle significantly for you. Secondly, do healing. So I, I kind of mentioned it and, and got to that before, but it's do the inner healing work. So heal through what triggers, what traumas, what, what wounds, what things you're holding on to, what judgments that you've got, because that is literally dimming who you are and changing the level that you're vibrating at. So do inner work. That's a huge conversation. I've got podcasts on that, how I've healed my trauma, blah, blah, blah. Go do that. There's so many, so many things you can go into, okay? There's heaps of topics. Go go down that rabbit hole. Next step's more practical. Exercise, look after your health. You are a vessel. Look after your health. Train regularly. Eat good food, like good nutrition. Literally, again, everything's energy. You eat shit processed 
food, think of the vibrational energy of that food, the signature of that food, and you're literally directly ingesting it. So be conscious of the food that you're eating. Organic food as you can, most unprocessed food as you can. Be conscious of that. So you improve the level quality of food that you're eating. And then the last step, for anyone that has not gone down the Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza's rabbit hole, go down his rabbit hole. It is incredible. Meditation. When you meditate, it's like going into the operating system of a computer and rewiring the computer. You can choose to feel however you want to feel. And again, once you feel a certain way of who you are in your vision, in your future, that's when you attract it. So it's really powerful. So meditation, I do it on a daily basis. I have certain styles of meditations that I use, but go down Dr. Joe Dispenza's rabbit hole, read the book, Becoming Supernatural. It's a fantastic book. um, And he really goes super deep into this topic. So that's the first side. That's the energetic side. Let's say it again. Live in alignment with your values. Do the inner work, heal through your stuff. Exercise, eat good food, meditate. So that's, and they're just some ways. There's many other ways you can do. You can increase your vibrational state, but those are just some really cool ones you can start with. Second part is the strategic aspect. So I've got less steps here because it's more black and white. Firstly, you need to have a vision. What's the vision for your life? Then you break down. You need to have a master plan. What is the master plan for your life? What are your goals? And I'll I'll break that down now. So you break your your goals into bite-sized pieces. How do you eat the whale at once? You can't. It's too, it's, it's overwhelming. And that's what a lot of people do with their goals. They want to have a life of financial freedom, time abundance, time freedom, love, sex, happiness, and, and money. Where do you start? It can be overwhelming. Complexity is the enemy of execution. You want to make things so simple, so clear, bite-sized pieces so you can execute. So what does that look like? We take your vision. And I, I obviously do this with my clients in a, in a lot more detail than what I'm saying right now. But for um, use of time, We go vision. What's the vision? We do values first. So go do your values on that free uh, training episode, uh, episode 200. Then we get your vision. What's your vision look like in the next five to 10 years? Then we do the plan. So the plan is what outcomes, what are the highest priority action items to achieve in the next 12 months? So in the next 12 months from now, what needs to be achieved to move you towards the vision? Do you need to increase your income? Do you need to, if you haven't got a business, do you want to start a business? Do you need to work on your health? Do you need to go on some dates? Do you need to lose some weight? Whatever it may be, whatever your vision is, just work backwards. What in the next 12 months are the highest priority action items to achieve to allow you to move towards that vision? Beautiful. From that, we go then quarterly. You then isolate one step back. When you get your 12 month outcomes, you want to isolate your top three to five. The man or woman that chases two rabbits goes hungry. So you want to get clear on the top three to five outcomes within the 12 months and focus on them. And you'll be surprised when you first do this level of planning, you actually tick off a lot of things because people like put off these things because they're confusing, they're over, they're under, they're overwhelming, they're not sure how to execute, which is fair enough. But then when you actually get clear on it, you can do so many things so quickly. Like you can start a business like in a day. You need a, a name, social media a way to process payments. You need a business, a company set up, which you can do online for free or in Australia anyways. It's like, you can literally do it in a day. It's not that hard, (laughs) but people put, oh my God, I don't know how to do it. This is overwhelming. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. And they just don't do it. So yeah, it's once you do your plan for the first time, you'll be so blown away how much you can actually get done really, really quickly. But once you've got your top three to five priorities, you break it down. What are we going to do in the next uh, quarter, the next 90 days? So next 90 day plan, beautiful. Then we break that down. What are you doing the next 30 days, next month? What are you doing next week? And then what are we doing today? And daily huddles, I love daily huddles. If you never see my face again, even though it's so handsome and gorgeous, take away this, do daily huddles. Daily huddles are so so amazing. I'm, I'm so grateful I learned this about six, seven years ago and I've done them literally like every day since. So, or my work days anyways. So first things first, what are we excited about today? Get some good energy, some good vibrational uh, things happening in your life. Second step, what were your outcomes yesterday? Were they achieved or not? And if they weren't, why not? So outcomes for yesterday, done or not done, why weren't they done if they weren't done? Accountability, transparency, and, and you get to have clarity as well. Third step, What are your outcomes today? What are you achieving today? And they have to be clear defined outcomes, okay? If you give yourself an inch, you'll take a mile. You can't say, I'm going to do some reading 
No, no, no. You're going to read 20 pages or whatever it is. Because if you say, I'm going to do some reading, you might read two words and you're done. You might say, I'm going to do some exercise. You might go for a two minute walk and you're done. Or you're going to train for 45 minutes. You could even go better if you've got like a heart rate monitor, you're going to burn X amount of calories, whatever it may be. But I'll do that again. What are you excited for? What were your outcomes for yesterday? Done or not done? What are your outcomes for today? What support do you need with these outcomes so you don't have an excuse for the next day to why these outcomes aren't done? Because some people, and I'm guilty of this too, oh, well, I couldn't do this outcome because I didn't know how to do it. Well, why didn't you ask for any support when you had the opportunity? So it's just a good, good way to take care of that. And the last step, what are you grateful for? Another way to just increase vibrational energy and just be amazing. So that's what we do daily. So you want to do that. And then the third step I have on the strategic component is execute. Go put the work in. Be consistent. Success takes time. It's not like, oh my God, I'm going to work for two weeks and I'm going to manifest a million bucks. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably not going to work that way. So there's two sides to manifestation. There's the energetics. We'll fly through that. Values. Go to episode 200. Go figure out your values for free. Do healing work. I do do that. That is a lot of the work that I do do, but find your way of healing. Three, exercise, train consistently. Four, look after the food as organic and unprocessed as possible. Five, meditate. I also teach meditation, but go down the Joe Dispenza rabbit hole. I love his style of meditating. And then the second side is strategic. What's your vision? Get clear on the vision for your life. Where do you want to go? What's it look like? Get clear on the details as well. Two, what is the master plan? Annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, daily huddles. Three, execute. That is my take on manifestation. I hope you guys got value from this. If you did, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Share this with a friend if you got value from this. And if you're wanting to invest into you and have a coach guide you through all of this, plus more in insane levels of depth, step by step, so it works 100% of the time, and you like my energy, you like my vibe, I have a free strategy call available in the link below. It's only for people who are serious about their own growth, okay? I unlock people's true potential. That's what I do. But it's only for people that are willing and ready to do the work. So if you're wanting to work on you, you're ready to do the work, hit the link below, book in for a free strategy call with me. It's not with my team, it's with me personally. I look forward to connecting with you. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting this podcast. See you soon. Bye.